How's it going, guys? How's it going? Welcome back. It's Keith. This is a final on the Big Rig Group Build 2022. Um, my take on the Peter Build uh, 359 conventional tractor truck. As you can see, I used a metallic orange, one of the new LP lacquer Tamiya bottles of paint. Um, not really much different about what you use all built that has built like only I did use for the first time a bit of black wash on all the crown pieces as you can see on the exhaust stacks and the front grill and the, a little bit on the wheels and whatever not um, yeah I used on the back uh, diamond plate behind the the rig oh, over the fuel tanks actually um yeah it was a good build the decals I decided not to go with the stripes up the side but I did do my own USA take on it just not to take away the United States um livery that I had so I did use the flag and the name obviously on the mud flaps and then also I used the stars, I'll pick these up, show you it there. Now you are probably wondering why there's the stars there. That's the way I've done the stars on that anyway. But um, you are probably wondering why there now on the passenger door, the tanker, why it's not in a bracket. Well that is the only place that I, uh, the only thing I had, um, I know I have, but I misplaced it. Sorry for the shaky camera, I'm trying to put it back down here. Um, but I've misplaced it. So, the way it was, I just um, stuck it on like that for now. When I do come across the part, I will stick it back on. So, um, I'll stick it on correctly. But the decals and all are on. The build is done now, so we can take it off the bench. Make room. Start getting other things finished. So I can get a new project start. But yeah, it's um actually my first ever proper full fully finished big rig, I think. Apart from the one twenty second scale that I done last year. But that's my one fourth, one twenty fourth, one twenty fifth scale big rig truck. And the year before that I done a Revell truck that I got as far as the way that looks now, only gunmetal grey, but I didn't get any of the chrome on, on it. Or um, decals or anything like that, I did just get the cab on it, that was it. And painted and all that, but it's still to this day it hasn't been finished. It's um, similar to the truck Shane we just got in Nastasha, the, the XLX. Uh, TG the man truck the man truck it's called double XL or something but um yeah it was showing me that actually start getting me pushing me towards trying these builds with the way he was doing his lighting and on I haven't though I was going to do the light I drilled out the headlights and all but then I realized if I did that I couldn't hide the worst <laughs> So I drilled out the headlight holes or nothing, but when you look through the lenses that I used, because I lost the original lenses after I put the window screen in, I lost all the original um, lenses for the lights, so they're all off different kits, the back ones are off a different kit, the headlight covers are off a different kit, and the spotlight and the bumper are off a different kit. I'm sorry it's sitting the way it is right now on that um, turntable, it's just... I'm using the small turntable with a bigger plate on it, but the wheel bases don't fit on it. <laughs> Sorry about the dogs barking. Um, it's me wife coming in now has the dogs going on the mad one. So I'll take this off the bench for now, and I'll show you the update on the golf. I'll show you the update on the golf now, lads. Thanks for watching. I um, hope you liked the big rig. And I stick out the gold GTI now. That's the colour I went with, with the, for the golf. And there, there are the wheels. Sorry, 
I mixed this colour up myself now with um I'll show you the I'll tell us the three colours now. I actually um mix mixed up this green colour myself with dark green too to me a lacquer paint um metallic blue LP lacquer paint from Tamiya as well and a bit of uh, LP silver so I have a full bottle of that colour there I made it up into the metallic blue bottle it's a mix of dark green too and um, silver and blue with the dark green too yeah so the paint laid down nice and I think it turned out nice I haven't sanded it, I've done that with it yet. So, um, sorry, the wheel I have on the back, or just the wheels, they're the wheel, the BBS wheels I'm going to use on the build. That's um, fitting nicely in there, nice, and I'm, I'll probably have to smooth now around the, the arches on the inside to get the wheel to sit flush. Like they do go up, it does go up to the arch it's just like it's able to hold itself up there because the tire is um touching both sides just enough to hold the wheel because if you barely look you can see it's not too steady it's ready to fall so like it's not bad fitting um yeah that's the golf gto update um yeah i hope it's like the big rig final and the update on the golf gto lads Appreciate you watching. Um, I'm gonna do an unboxing for Mike on the 280Z that I got yesterday. Um, by Tamiya, the re-release with the it has a driver and an engine. And before I do the unboxing, now Mike, it hasn't got um a, a left or right hand, a left hand drive dash, but. The dash is very, very similar to the dashboard in the 240s, the 240Z, the exact same. It's just a little bit more round on the 240Z and that, that won't affect it. So you'll be able to use the 240Z uh, dashboard. So, um, yeah, that's it lads. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the final on the big rig again. Take it turned out all right. Hope you're happy with it, Jeff. Thanks for watching. And I'll do an unboxing now in a few minutes. Just a quick unboxing for Mike. And anyone else that's interested in seeing the M two eighty Z, what's in the the new re released kit. Thank you. Nice watching. Keep out. Bye bye.